All right, what's going on guys? We're gonna kick 2023 off on a high note. This 51 four door. Old little patina bomb. Not what we normally do, it's not running, not driving. It's been sitting for a long time, but the previous owner told me he just put it away and that's why it's no longer running. Uh, I got fresh gas, tune up kit, a bunch of other little nick snacks. See if we can get this thing to fire off today. If it does and we can get it running good, I'm gonna lower it, uh, do a couple other little things to it, and then we're gonna see if we can get the paint to come back a little bit, kind of give it that patina look. I think this thing will be really cool when we're done with it. But um, the interior's not that bad, you know, it's actually pretty nice, considering what the rest of the car looks like. The paint is just very, very chalky. So I bought a new product called Sweet Patina Sauce. We're gonna try that out and see how it works. I'll make a video on that. I am not a detail guy. I've never really done anything as far as detailing, but we'll see how it goes. We're gonna wet sand the car to get all the flakes off, and then uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, hell yeah, let's dive into it. So this car's been sitting for a while. Uh, previous owner swears up and down that it ran when he put it away, but nine times out of 10, that's not the case. But we will figure it out. These motors are pretty simple. I got a brand new battery. Uh, I cut off the fuel line so I get a new filter and fuel line. I can see the carb was leaking a little, so we'll probably have to rebuild the carb at some point. But for now, we're just going to take his word for it. I'm going to pop that distributor cap, see what the points look like, give him a little sanding, uh, hook up the fresh battery, throw some fresh gas and the new fuel filter in, and we'll see if this thing fires off. If it does, I will be extremely surprised. But let's see what happens. All right. Once again, I don't have WAP, so we're gonna try to get the best camera angles that we can here, so forgive me. Um, nine times out of 10 when these cars sit, the points actually get corroded and it'll cause them not to spark. So if you take a little sandpaper to them, hey, oil's not bad. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyways, if you take some sandpaper to the points, get to knock the corrosion off them, a lot of times they'll fire right off. This car is an automatic, so it's got tranny fluid that we can check. I'm supposed to check it while it's warm, but I'd like to make sure it at least has some in it. It's got what looks like too much in it, but we'll find out when it's warm. Um, all right, let's see what this points look like. I have all new points. I have a brand new cap, rotor, wire, spark plugs. It's more fun trying to get them to run on the shit that they've had been sitting for a while. This point actually look kind of new, but they are corroded for sure. Cap's got a little bit on it too. But like I said, I mean, down the road, we'll replace all this, but I just want to see if it'll fire. Because if there's something more major wrong with it, why well, put a bunch of new parts in it? If she ain't even that good. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Cap don't look too, too bad. Uh, I do like these old motors because they're easy to work on. So when they sit for a while, another rule of thumb is these motors have extremely, extremely long push rods. So when they sit, you kind of want to turn them over by hand and make sure the motor goes all the way through because the valves will get stuck a lot of times. And then when it comes up, if you try to start it under its own power, it'll bend the living shit out of those push rods. I've done it. It sucks. So much easier. Spin it by hand. If you're feeling any sort of resistance, just pull the valve cover, it's, you know, work in the valves give them a little tap with a brass hammer a little marvel you know just go through everything but this one actually was spinning it by hand and it feels really good so we've got lucky there let's try to get these points sorted let's see where we're at sorry if i'm in you guys' way this is a lot easier with wop Wop, if you're watching, I miss you. Take a peek at the gap while we're at it. One there. That looks like a really big gap, but we're gonna run it for now. Yeah, it's not too bad. Look worse from the other angle. All right, so we'll get some fresh gas in the thing. Fresh battery fresh fuel filter because it's probably gonna suck some shit up the tank seems empty which is really really good 
because you don't want all that junk fuel in there. So I got five gallons of 93 to mix with whatever is in there. That way it'll be, you know, like a 84 by the time we're done. <laughs> but like I was saying about the carb, yeah, it's leaking a little. It's old, but it doesn't mean it wasn't leaking. Oh, oil filled. Gotta love it. Come Max. There we go. See, you want to spill a bunch of oil on the manifold. That way, you know the manifold's getting hot if it smokes. That's pro tip that all you guys should know. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. All right, I'm gonna get the battery hooked up and the fuel filter on. That's not something you guys really need to see. It's not all that exciting. Fuel filter's on, battery's hooked up, gas down the carb, gas in the tank. Let's see if this thing talks to us. I think she wants it. So these, key in the middle position is on. A lot of people turn it all the way over, points won't engage, no spark that way. Middle position. Pump the shit out of her. Push button. Holy shit, we got spark. Okay, all right, okay, okay. She wants to run. She wants it. She wants it. And we're out of gas. Let's see if we got any gas in the new fuel filter. Oh, we got gas to the filter too. We do have a little tick, but that's okay. I can adjust these valves, that's no biggie. A rocker, sorry. But hey, wow, huh? That was extremely unexpected. Like, very unexpected. Let's see if we can get her to fire up again. So, quick update. Got the thing running and driving, actually runs and drives pretty good. I am gonna slam a tune-up into it and adjust all of the valves make sure that we get rid of that little tick that it's got going on that's no biggie i'm just waiting on a valve cover gasket to come in to do that um i have the rear lowered i don't want to lower the front yet because it was sitting kind of low already and i want to see it with the 560s on it before i cut anything up unfortunately today's saturday the tire shop can't mount and balance my tires until monday so what i figured is we're going to try to get this paint to come back to life a little bit and honestly it almost looks like some of it was brushed on which is fine you know patina patina bomb that's what we're gonna call this car so i bought some product that i've been wanting to try for a while called oh, sweet patina so we're gonna give this a go i'm gonna give the car a good bath and then that's the ending so that's basically you know your final like a quick detail spray i'm assuming and then this is to actually clean it but we're gonna give this thing an actual bath with some dawn dish soap get off as much as we can and then I'm gonna actually wet sand it, I think, really quickly, nothing crazy. Let's see if we can get this to come back a little bit. But yeah, I'll give you guys some before and after, so we'll see how this product works. Uh, I've heard good things about it, and I'm curious to use it. All right, All right I don't know how good this is gonna show up on camera. This stuff works pretty good. And I haven't even used the finishing product on it yet really drastic on the roof but there's so many shadows on the roof you can't really tell but I do not do any sort of detailing at all whatsoever so if I can do it anybody can do it and honestly this is all brush rolled it looks like or not even brush rolled painted brush painted oh yeah look at that shadow no oh, this is no no sauce no sauce sauced dry to the touch too which is cool i like this stuff it's pretty neat new day new day and we're back at it i ended up using the sweet patina sauce on the whole car it came out super nice i'm actually really really impressed with that product i like it a lot um i put the wheels and tires on because i wanted to see how the car was going to sit with the rear lowered but uh, I, th I thought someone had already lowered the front because this car sat super low in the front when I got it. But that's not the case. So I do have to pull the wheels back off, 
cut the springs in the front. Um, the exhaust was hanging when the car came on the trailer. I don't know if that happened in shipping or what, but it's an easy enough fix. Got a couple new straps, so we'll get that buttoned up. I need to cut the excess threads off the U-bolts because, I mean, they're right on my scrub line with the tires. But this car is actually really damn solid for what it is. I mean, super nice floors. It's in good shape. I was impressed. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But the goal for today is we'll get the front lowered. We will get these threads cut, um, the exhaust fixed, and shake this thing down and send it on its way. I think it's pretty cool. Nice way to start off 2023. guys all done and ready for its new home despite how it started off how it looked in the beginning this thing shaped up to be a killer little car really really cool look to it even got the old trailer hitch on it sits right looks right everything cleaned up good it runs really good all the gauges work all the electrical works Interior even cleaned up nice. Very, very impressed with this car. Really cool way to start the year. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.